Hi everybody, this is Ellen, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make my step-up bracelet, or beaded step-up bracelet rather, and um, I'm calling it the step-up bracelet because it kind of reminds me of little steps if you look at it from the side. I mean, obviously a spiky bracelet or something like that would have been more appropriate for the name, but it was already taken, so I had to come up with something else. Um, this is not the same banding as the armadillo bracelet that I did. Um, it's a larger setup and I've added beads to it of course. I will do a tutorial that just has the um, the step up part without the beads on it so you can see what that looks like as well if you don't want to do the beads. Um, I just think it's kind of a neat little pokey bracelet. Um, reminds me of little steps. So, um, And again of course the colors of where you put the bands make a difference. So it looks pretty different. Um, these ones are just all solid with just different color beads on them. But they're fun so I'm going to show you how to make them. And this is all on one loom. Um, normal setup so anybody can do it. For me I need I think 12 of these little parts here and you can only fit five on a loom at a time so you kind of have to extend it and I'll show you how to do that. Um, different bands make a different tightness because this is actually the 12 I need but this one is loose but these are looser bands or at least the white ones on the outside are. I'll show you how to make this. So like I said the normal setup and we're just going to start by laying kind of a weird um, hexagon with long parts on the side. Starting at the center pin and go out to the right one and then up two and then back towards the center one. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So like that first. And then so obviously, I was going to say, with the beads, it's going to depend how long you need the bracelet and how many beads you'll need. So, but, so once you have this, then we're going to, well, from these middle pins, we're going to pull some bands out. So first, from this pin here, we're going to go back towards the corners. Doesn't really matter which one you lay first, just so it has the the arrow pattern that comes up. And the next ones are going to be from the same pin, but just go up to this corner or up to the middle here. And then the same thing over here. So you just have a little X there so far. And then again, um, from this pin now, we're going to come back to the points here in the middle. So like that. And these are the middle bands, which are the colored jelly on this one. Um, the white is the outside border. I always forget to mention that when I before I start banding, but um, that's what they are. And then we're going to add a middle row here. So starting at this point, go down two. And now is where we're going to add our bead. Um, I use pony beads and these three. Um, for the tutorial, I'm going to try using these flower beads. Um, I got these from Hobby Lobby. I haven't, I know Michaels has something that's similar to these, but I just pull the band through the open part. And then what I'm going to do is take one side and put it on this pin right here. And then the other side is going to go on this pin right here, but we need to double loop it once we get it on there. So, have it around the pin, but then I need to double loop it. So we're basically creating an end cap with the band on this side of the bead. Because that keeps the bead from like poking way out of the bracelet, so it looks a little better, keeps this part 
up here at the top tight. So that's why we're doing that double loop right here on this one. So that is the setup for um, each little individual step. And then we'll start with the next one. And that one, the top of it is going to start right here on this pin, um, which is where the where we connected the bead at. And we're just going to make that weird hexagon shape. And around the other side. Oh, and it doesn't matter, like, my bead's poking up, but actually when we take it off the bracelet, this will be the back side. Um, it doesn't matter, we can, the beads will turn, so. So like that. They're kind of, they're kind of in my way, but. Then we need to do the cross pieces in the middle. So the first one will kind of overlap the bottom of the first step. And we just go out to the other sides and kind of make an X. And then one more from this pin. And then we'll come back to the point where we started and do a band down the middle and then one more and then the next one is our bead again so again I have another one that I pulled a band through so I'll get one side on this pin and then the other one put it on there and then double loop it like that So then again, we just do the same pattern. Starting from this pin, do the weird hexagon. like that. And then our filler bands. I guess it's kind of first the X and then a the little arrow part. And then again, the middle stripe starting at the top. And then our bead. Like that. And the same thing again. Starting from this point. The weird hexagon. that. And then our cross pieces in the center. And the other one. And 
then our middle stripe, our middle bands, then our bead one, And our next one, starting at this point, and this will be the last one that we can lay because there isn't enough room for another one. and our filler bands in the center. Then our middle band. Then our bead one. So like that. And then we also want to put an end cap on this last one right here. So probably two or three times around. I'll do mine three. So that's what we have now. So we can turn this around and loom. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go up the center stripe here. So we go in through the end cap, grab the, this band, and my beads are in the way. And you're going to go through the cap and then the band that has the bead on it too. Then this loom that up and over. So we're basically creating an end cap right here for these bands to come out of. So now we'll go back into the end cap again and we'll loom out these bands that come off to the side. Then you go into this little end cap we think we created and loom these out as well. Grab the top one and pull it back towards itself. So like that. And then we'll come back to right here. And we created an end cap when we double looped the band from a bead. So we'll just go in through there and loop up the hexagon. Our weirdly shaped hexagon. And just make sure you don't loop the under layer for these two pins. And come back to the beginning again. Go through this end cap and loom up the other side. And again, watch out you don't get the under layer for these two. And then what we're going to do is that we're first we're actually going to loop up the middle of this next one before we do any removing of this first part. So we'll go in through here and this all the bands that we brought up to this pin kind of create an end cap so we're, that's why we don't need one there now. But go in through here you're gonna grab this band that goes up the middle 
and we're going to bring it all the way up to here or loop up to there so like that and come back in here again grab that top band and pull it over on the other band same thing in here like that and now what we want to do is we're actually going to remove this first hexagon or step completely off the loom and it's going to hang on at this pin because it's now connected so just take it all the way off and it's just going to hang there at this pin so then you're going to come underneath here where the, by the bead go in through the little end cap we created and loom up the hexagon And do the same thing on the other side. So like that. So a little part hanging off, and we have the next step loomed up. So now again we'll loom up the middle of the next one. So in through our little end cap we created right here. We're going to loom up the bands that go straight up. which is not the right band. There we go. Like that. Then we'll loom out the side bands. And again, we'll come back and we'll take off this next or this step from before. So just remove that. And if you'll notice, like my beads seem to be going the wrong way. But it's actually um, just need to flip the bead around. So if you use directional beads, you might have that and go, oh no, I put it on backwards, but I just have to flip it around. And now that we got that pulled off, we're going to loom up the outside of the hexagon there. So in through the end cap. up one side and then the other side like that then again through the center here we'll loom out the inside or the straight well then it goes straight up which again is not the right band like that then the center filler bands
And then come back and remove this last step. underneath, go through your end cap here, loom up the sides, and the other side, and then this will be our last one here on this loom. So again, we'll go in through the end cap we created, grab the top band for this stripe, loom that up, and come back and do the sides. come and remove this last step. This is hanging there. Then we'll go around the outside. like that. So now we have the first ones done. So we'll go and put our hook in through the end cap, or through the open point here rather. You can pull this off the loom. And see this one is flipped around the wrong way again, so just have to move it around. Give a little stretch up. And then mine will look looks different than the other ones because of how the beads too are not the same on both sides. Like this one you can see both sides, whereas this one is kind of more like a almost a lily pad type of look but I like it because it's flowery. So then to extend this, um, you'll take your loom and you'll lay your bands exactly as you did before, except for the last one that we laid on right here. We're going to skip the end cap that went on this pin because we're going to put our open end of the bracelet from before on that pin but everything else is the same. So I'll turn this around. So on this pin, which is right above the, where the bead is attached, is where this is going to go. And you want the beads to be facing down. beads are down. And then this is kind of like um, if we had just taken off the first step without um, waiting until we loomed up this middle, that's kind of what this is right here. So it's much easier to leave it on until it's until you get that middle part done. But So you go in through that point, the point again we just added, grab the middle bands and loom those up.
and go in and do the side bands. And then just flip this up to do the oddly shaped hexagon. So now our extension is secure and you just repeat the pattern that we did before. Um, I'll finish this and I will um, probably just fast forward through it and then I'll show you how I'd connect it at the end so it kind of has a more seamless look and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done with it. Okay, so I'm just about done with the last one here. So I can take this off the loom. Just put my hook in here again. Here's what it looks like. Need to. It's kind of actually the beads. I can have them one way with the directional, but I almost kind of like them when they poke out the wrong side, like so. Because then it kind of looks more like a little step. So you can play with your beads if you have the directional beads like these to get them how you want them. I think it kind of looks neat when they're poked up instead of down. So like that. That looks better that way. 
when you have the pony beads you don't really have a choice. <laughs> so then to connect this I'd actually find like the the end cap under here or even the part of the um, bands that went that we ended up looming out of finding those and connecting our C clip to those. Sometimes it's kind of it's better if it goes to the end cap we put on there and it looks good and then other times it's this band you're just going to kind of have to put it on and then see what you think as far as how it looks most continuous. So I'll try this band first. If I can get the clip on there. And you might even need two clips but they hide pretty well so that when you're wearing it it kind of disappears into the the step. I know these colors are the same but I actually need one more one or two more flowers so um, wasn't not done yet but I will be I'll finish it. But this is my beaded step up bracelet um, like I said I'll have one that doesn't have the um, beads on it so you can kind of see what that looks like it's just kind of spiky um, which is kind of cool too. So it's a bigger spike than the armadillo one, which is neat because I like having the profiles on these. So, but those are my bracelets. Thank you for watching my tutorials. I definitely appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And as always, I really appreciate everything. Um, Show me your pictures on my Instagram and my Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the new bracelets coming out that I have in store for you. And thanks a lot.